Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is a new video and I hope you enjoy. Year of the Villain has been great for DC Comics. I'm glad to see so many iconic villains returning all at once and even some D-listers are here. Today is Mr. Freeze in the historic story and a very surprising one. One I've wondered about for my whole life, what would happen if it ever did happen in the comic books. Detective Comics issue 1014 has the return of Nora Freeze in the comics, this time a version of her we would never would have guessed. Nora Freeze has awakened from her cryostasis and now Mr. Freeze is going to turn her into a person just like him so they can be together without issues, but he needs one more thing so Nora can live without a special suit like Victor used to wear. The two bring in the Wayne Cryonics lab to steal Victor's old compound agent, one he made when he worked for Wayne Enterprises all those years ago. He steals it and now Nora is a blue cold person like him, they don't wear container suits anymore. Now it is like the good old days with Victor Freeze and Nora Freeze together living their own happy life. This is a good issue, I was glad it went on longer than I first thought it would. Bruce and Lucius Fox are looking at Mr. Freeze's work and it is said that the cellular regeneration Mr. Freeze has is better than even Rachel Ghoul's Lazarus Pit. And this is the issue where Alfred wears a flash call that has identity as Batman saves the lives of the kidnapped girls Mr. Freeze had. This seems to be the same origin from the New 52. Bruce Wayne stopped Victor from continuing research on Nora because he was endangering people, except this is the real Nora Freeze, not some girl cryogenically frozen from the 20s diagnosed with an illness who Victor became obsessed with. Boy am I glad they got rid of that Freeze. Once again, I'm going to say this Freeze reminds me a lot of the Telltale games. He talks to Bruce and knows about his family tragedy. Freeze is more reasonable here with his wife, and Nora has no ill will towards Bruce Wayne, though she also sees nothing wrong with what Mr. Freeze has done and has been doing. For Nora, she turned evil like Mr. Freeze way too fast, though it was a cool change from her always waking up and being horrified to what he's become in other incarnations. This new dynamic between the two is very interesting. I can't believe Nora has turned as bad as him. The story with the two are, are together is amazing. It's not a fully happy love story for the two since they kill countless people while enjoying themselves. Though, they don't do it with hate or evilness. They just do it to play off their own fantasies. At the same time, it is nice to see these two lovebirds back together. The issue also goes through Victor and Nora's history. Nora being alive is the whole purpose of Mr. Freeze being a supervillain. Now that she is alive, Freeze's mission is complete. A well-rounded story is at the end. Now what will Victor do? Is there anywhere more to go? Have to just wait and see. This time, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I hope this storyline pays off for Mr. Freeze. It's one of my favorite Mr. Freeze stories, actually. Probably because of all the uniqueness. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.